Okay, this is a quick video to show, um, I guess, the difference in this version of the uh, animated uh, interactive monkey. Basically, um, there are many versions of this monkey. Wowee makes the original, and one of the differences is the material that they used for the body. This particular one is solid plastic. Um, the Wowee version, the original version, has a more rubberized plastic, allowing it to have a little more flexibility. This version, being that it's not made by Wowee, uh, is more of a solid plastic, and it may have a tendency to break, only because uh, you can't reposition the tail, uh, or the arms, or the legs. Also, um, I think Wowee monkeys are also made in China. Um, this version is made in China, but again, it doesn't have the logo. There's uh, usually a little logo on the bottom uh, portion of the monkey and possibly a serial number. So uh, obviously this version uh, is not the Wowee version. I don't know who the manufacturer is of this, but it is indeed an interactive animated monkey. And before I turn it on, I want to show you a few things that uh, this monkey does. And I've noticed some videos where they don't know exactly how the monkey works. So they do a lot of shaking and rattling and turning and all this. And in a way, they are actually activating many of the sensors that are located in these monkeys. So as long as you continue to uh, you know, run your hand over them or shake them or turn them sideways or turn them upside down, it will indeed do something. Okay, These are programmed to make sounds. They're programmed to have their heads move as well as an eye blink. Okay, The way that this particular one works, and again I've never even seen or uh, been able to use the Wowee version, but this particular version does indeed have blinking eyes and what there is is a uh, permanent magnet as well as a um, electromagnet which causes the eyes to close and then when the magnet goes off the electromagnet then the eyes will open gravity allows the eye to open if you lay it on its side or its back it may have a tendency the eyes will close because of gravity is pulling down on the uh, permanent magnet so turning it back right side up the eyes will indeed want to be open okay there are two sensors here and here on the forehead what they are is a copper strip one here and one here they're separated they're not connected together but they are wired to the circuitry there's a copper strip on the inside here and one here which indeed will sense your hand over the top of the head okay that's one of the sensors another sensor is located here in the mouth uh, it is sound activated as well as when you blow on it when you blow air into the mouth there it does different functions also there's a tilt switch inside here you can hear a noise a little rattling noise well what that is is two little sensors that are side by side shaped like this and it knows when the body of the monkey is standing up or when it's laying on its back so that's how it knows that it needs to sleep shaking it and rattling it only uh, causes those switches to uh, to open and close so I'm going to go ahead and turn this one on and the first thing it will do, just like most of them, is say hello. I'm going to hold on to the head which will allow the body to move uh, but I'm going to hold on to the head. Okay, so you can see that it does that. Turn it off, turn it back on. Okay, now you notice it finds center each time. Well, there's another sensor that knows where center is. So as long as, as, long as the head is centered that it knows that it's in the center and will uh, continue to do its functions. I want to show another thing about this monkey I'm turning it off right now. What you'll notice there's a mechanical stop 
right here you can actually feel it hit a mechanical stop and one on this side a mechanical stop if your monkey does not feel each of those uh, mechanical stops then there's a wiring issue uh, the wire is probably too short and it won't allow the head to turn the complete rotation so this one you can feel it stop you can feel it stop and of course center is where the uh, switch is so that the head knows where center is uh, during the program cycle I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on okay right away you see the eyes blink okay and it goes it cycles through now if I move the head it comes off the center switch okay and it knows that the head is moved now if I do absolutely nothing the monkey will just sit there so shaking it and rattling it and rubbing your hand over it will indeed cause it to do something so the sensors are working so if you do nothing none of the sensors are being activated so of course the head just stays in one place it doesn't talk the eyes don't blink and the head doesn't turn one of the sensors of course is on the top okay so when you wave your hand over it it senses that motion okay Okay. So each time you do it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to do the same sound or action each time. Okay. But as long as you rub your hand over the top, it senses that motion. Okay, and it will work. Another feature is because it can lay on its side, what happens is the little mechanical switch in there will cause it to discover that it's laying on its side. You don't need to shake it, you don't need to rattle it. Okay. I'm going to stand it back up. Okay. Now that was caused because now it knows it's in the upright position laying it nicely on its side okay you can see that it knows that it's on its side and it goes to sleep okay it snores and it, 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 it has a sigh okay so you don't need to shake it you don't need to rattle it all right um, they also say you can tap on it but that may be partially due to that it's, it's causing those two switches in there to vibrate so if you just do it nicely like that see nothing will happen now if I lay my hand over this it farts okay I'm gonna do it again okay as you can see it senses my hand I'm not doing anything Oops. and each time it moves you gotta pull your hand away let it do its thing alright so you don't need to shake it or rattle it or anything like that now this is a, a sensor here in the mouth so if you blow on it let me go ahead and do that you can see that it senses the fact that I am blowing on it okay so the sensor in the mouth is functional and it is sound activated as well okay see? so it does sense sound so you can rub your hand over the t oops each time you do that it's sensing you each time All right, so that's the way the monkey works. So this indeed being a uh, not made by Wowie, but it is indeed made in China. It is a little bit different material than the than the one made by Wowie, but it does have apparently the same functions. So every time you do something with your hand, it is indeed sensing your motion or your hand being in the way there. So because of the two copper tabs here, it has sensors in the mouth. It has eye blink. All right, so each time it does no. So if you want to test yours, don't do anything at all, don't say anything, don't make any loud noises, and it should just sit there. Now, if it sits for any length of time, it's very possible it'll start to whistle to let you know that it's still on. Okay, and it may actually indeed shut itself off. We found that this version does shut itself off. So again, if you move the head off the center thing, it does move, okay? All right, now I'm going to do this, see if I can do this again. See, so again, this not being the one from Wowie is indeed, I think, just as functional as the one that you get, um, you know, in the Wowie uh, package. So there you go. That's just uh, what I wanted to show, that that's how it works. And again, you can lay it on its side. You don't need to shake it. It goes to sleep. And, and what happens is the reason the eyes open back up is because the coil uh, shuts off and of course the eyes want to open because of the of gravity it's okay there it's back to sleep again all right so you don't need to shake it you don't need to rattle it you just need to cautiously move it and it will indeed sense your hand movements or let me try it again see so, so there you go that's uh this is considered a finger monkey it's not 
The name of it is not Fingerling. Huh? It's alive! <laughs> yeah, it's fun.